Jeb Bush decided to pledge that if he's elected, which he won't be, he's polling at like negative 18%, uh, he's going to keep Guantanamo Bay open. He did, he did like a speech over this. As if he's bold. <laughs> he's like, ah, oh, and I pledge to continue to restrict your rights and civil liberties and the Constitution. Why are you applauding me? Why are you not applauding me? Isn't this a bold, courageous speech? No. A courageous speech would be somebody who says, I'm going to shut down Guantanamo, even though a lot of you bitches are scared when I do that, that it's going to lead to terrorism. It won't, but, you know, you're afraid of that. No, I'm standing up for what's right, even if it makes you uncomfortable. He's doing the opposite, and he's like, oh, yes, I'm such a leader. So Bush uh, is giving a new foreign policy speech in the wake of the Paris terror attacks. Reuters reports, quote, Bush will vow to restore one trillion dollars in cuts to the U.S. military, which uh, he labels completely arbitrary. He also would add 40,000 personnel to the U.S. Army and 4,000 to the U.S. Marines and would bolster U.S. relations with key allies from NATO nations to the Middle East and Asia. I love that last part, too. He slips that in. He's like, and what I will do is I will make sure that we give billions of dollars more and more weapons to Saudi Arabia, who are Wahhabists who push this ideology all around the world. But uh, they're our allies, and we love to suck their dick so the oil squirts out. So, no, we're going to do that. No, but see, that means you are making us less safe, not more safe. If you give the Saudis billions and you give them weapons, as we recently did, by the way, blame Obama for that, blame this government for that, that makes us less safe. It's proven that people within the Saudi government are funding... Wahhabism all around the world. They said about the refugees in Europe. They're like, okay, we're not going to take any, but we'll fund mosques over there. The most radical kind of mosques. Salafi mosques. Wahhabi mosques. And this is the, these are the people, they're a partner in fighting terrorism. Even though they're not, it's the opposite of that. But this is the kind of ideology. More of the same, more of the same. So Jeb Bush's response to the Paris terror attacks, he's like, I'm going to take off this mask, this Jeb Bush mask, where I pretended for a while that I was more moderate than George W., and I pretended that I was more intelligent than him, and I'm just going to let it all hang out and say, no, I am George W. Vote for me for a third term of George W. Bush. He's saying, increase military spending. He also said headlines were breaking right before I came out here. He wants to do more, uh, he wants to do ground troops now again. But do you not understand we've tried your approach the entire time? Now, I'm not a pacifist, okay? It does, uh, does ISIS need to be addressed? Yes. But why not give the French a shot, as they're doing right now? They're bombing Raqqa. No civilian casualties so far. Why not give Russia a shot? They had their plane blown up by ISIS. Why not let them go after it? Again, guys, it's not like we haven't tried the neocon approach. We've already tried it. It hasn't worked. For fuck's sake, we've... Uh, we did a ground invasion. For over a decade, we've done the war on terror, including ground invasions and occupations. There are more terrorists now than there were before. I'm against this because I actually want to win. I don't want to exacerbate the problem and make it worse. George W. Bush made it worse. The neocon policies made it worse. Not to mention, the one of the motivating factors behind it was perverse in the sense that a lot of people made a lot of fucking money off of this. And that might have been one of the biggest reasons we went in in the first place, because Iraq had nothing to do with 9-11, for example. But this is not the answer. Guys, we already spend over 50% of discretionary spending on the military, and Jeb Bush is giving speeches like, we should spend more than that. Why? We have a student loan debt crisis here at home. We have medical bankruptcy crisis here at home. We have an infrastructure problem. Fund that! Fund that! He's like, no, we spend more well over 50% of our discretionary spending on war. You know, the the war in Iraq already cost trillions. He's like, let's go back in there. Spend another few trillion. Fuck it. We have over 900 military bases all around the world, and this jackass says, come on, let's, let's, create, let's build more. Let's uh, grow our military. That's the last thing you should do. And guys, final thing I'll say on this real fast. He doesn't realize that Guantanamo Bay is a terrorist recruitment tool. The irony of this all is that the reason they said uh, that we needed to build it is the exact opposite of what happened. They were like, okay, it keeps us safe. That's why we need to build it. We need to hold people in an extrajudicial way. It'll keep us safe. That's why we have to do it. And then notice, when it came to recently, we learned that there's more evidence there and pictures there that could be released because we have transparency in our government, because we're a free society, we're a democracy, allegedly. So when that happened, they're like, no, we can't release that. Everybody's like, why? Like, well, that'll make us less safe. 
well, you told us we needed to create it and do what we did to keep us safe. And now you're like, well, actually, no, everything we did made us less safe. So then your original argument you're admitting was bullshit. It didn't make us more safe. It made us less safe. It increases terrorist recruitment, which is true, which is what the liberals were saying all along. And bottom line is it violates our principles to begin with. We can only go around the world and say, hey, use us as a model if we're actually living by the values we espouse, namely abide by due process. We threw that out the window. Have a right to privacy. We threw that out the window. Uh, freedom of speech. We threw that out the window. I mean, you go down the list, the Constitution was ripped up and pissed on by the Bush administration, and unfortunately under Obama, we've treaded water and haven't sufficiently fought back against this, Guantanamo Bay is still open. He keeps saying, I'm going to veto the funding for it, and then he doesn't do it. Well, do it now, do it now. And Jeb Bush is saying, no, I'm going to keep it open, that's my idea. A, uh, most of the people that went to Guantanamo in the first place, totally innocent. That's not me speaking, that's the various reports speaking that said what we did in order to get people in Guantanamo, we paid the government of Pakistan, we paid the government of Afghanistan, and we said, hook a brother up, we just got attacked here on 9-11, send the Al-Qaeda guys to us, send the jihadists to us. So what did they do? As any corrupt government would, you really trust the government of fucking Pakistan and Afghanistan? They went out and they just rounded up people who they didn't like, who were against their government, jihadist or not. They just went out there, rounded people up, shipped them off to, to Gitmo. And dumbass Cheney and Bush were like, thanks guys! I'm sure you got the right people here, but this is why you need due process to make sure you get the right people. We didn't get the right people. We winded up torturing people who were innocent. Locking them up is bad enough, but we also tortured them. One of the guys, we gave hypothermia as a form of torture and he died. We poured cold water on him, came in the cell the next morning, he was dead. We did, you know, rectal rape as a form of torture, rectal feeding. Doctors were like, that's not a thing. Like, what are you doing? They're like, shh, it's a thing enough. Unbelievable. This is how we violated our principles and the people we took were not even guilty. But this is why you have the rules in the first place. Because chances are you're a human, you're fallible, you're gonna fuck up. Which is why you need the rules there to prevent you from doing that. So you can't just throw them out when the going gets tough.